nine eight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, we got ourselves a good one. Yes, that is right. We got ourselves another CGC unboxing here on the channel today. Camera stop shaking. Yes, CGC unboxing, the best kind of videos on comic book YouTube. Because you know why? I don't know the grades once again this time. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna guess the grade. We're gonna find out together. And I'm very, very excited uh, to see what I have in here. Because if you guys saw my last unboxing video, I mentioned how I got price adjusted, which meant that was going to be good for our results. And yes, I once again got price adjusted on these ones here today. So I am very, very excited to see the results. But of course, before I get into it, if you guys could like, comment, subscribe, I would appreciate it. Help support the channel, do one of those things. But let us get into this unboxing video here today. Now, again, these are a series of books that I sent in to CGC with, you know, some of my other uh, recent submissions. I've had a few videos here on the channel, uh, you know, showing you guys uh, CGC uh, unboxings and things like that. And so, oh, wait, okay, wait. I, I, I didn't prep this. Like, uh, you know, I never think to prep it. I don't really have anyone that can actually help me prep this. Uh, and I want to show you guys it's a genuine unboxing here. So I'm just going to pull out some of these books and we're going to go through them one by one again. These are mostly, I think, it's all Silver Age books, all Silver Age uh, keys and stuff. And I am very, very excited to see what we have because again, I got price adjusted on my grades. So I am really, really excited to see uh, what we got. First up here is a Silver Surfer number three. You guys know this book right here. First appearance of Mephisto. Uh, this is actually a book that I picked up from Flip Mode Comic Books. Uh, they had this graded as a 7-0 when they sent it to me or when I, when I bought it from them. So uh, I'm definitely hoping uh, at least to get a 7-0 on this book right here. That was my expectation. That's what they called it. Let us see what I got here today. And ooh, 7-5, seven, 7-5 five. Seven, five off-white pages. First appearance of Mephisto. Unironically, one of my favorite books, uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, super villains. Uh, the first time I ever uh, walked into a comic book store, uh, this is uh, one of my earliest memories of that being a wall book and me thinking to myself, what is that? Oh, that must be a special book because it's a key as, a, as I would come to find out uh, later on. Definitely a book that, uh, you know, is something that I think um, I would love to get like a 9.6 or a 9.8 of that one day. I think prices for 7.5s right now have definitely been taking a hit. Uh, you know, in the market, I think that they're sitting around that 400 dollar price point, maybe maybe somewhere in that level. Uh, so it would be kind of nice to uh, move up the scale with that one. All right, here we go. Oh, next up, we got ourselves a good one here. Silver Surfer, number one. First issue of the Silver Surfer series. Uh, first appearance of Shalaba, uh, Origin of the Watcher, Origin of the Silver Surfer. Now, this is actually a book that I picked up in tandem with an Iron Man 1 I got. And, uh, you know, I know the results from my Iron Man 1, which I got a 9-2. Uh, this one, I also felt like had a chance, had a chance to be pretty high grade, uh, but kind of a sad story with this one. When I sent it in for pressing and cleaning, my presser actually damaged this book. If you guys can see it right there, uh, see the R right there. There's a little bit of a tape pull now on the R and they kind of uh, added a little bit of a reader's crease right there, but it's okay. We worked it out. We settled it. No disrespect to them. So. I'm gonna be uh, a little more reserved on this one. I'm thinking maybe we got a 7.5 for this. Uh, that would be kind of where I was hoping with it. I, I, I think before the damage, I was looking at maybe a 9.0, um, but let us see what I ended up getting. Oh, 8.5. 8.5 off white to white pages. Very, very nice. 8.5 Silver Surfer 1. Now I did look up some of the prices ahead of time, so I have it in my mind. I think 8. 80s, 85s, around that area is selling at like the $2,000 range. So very, very cool. Very excited about that. Uh, what could have been, man? What could have been? I mean, I do think that this could have been a 90, maybe a 92 uh, without the uh, pressing damage. But hey, pressing and cleaning comes with some level of risk. And ultimately, I still did okay on my previous submission, who they, which they also cleaned and pressed. So uh, I can't be too mad about it you know, having one damage book. Plus we took care of it. All right, next up here, I got a Marvel feature number one, first appearance 
of the Defenders team. Now, I got to say, I picked this one up at a comic book show, and when I picked it up, I was like, this is a really, really clean copy. Like, I was I was taking a look, I was inspecting, it was really, really clean, price was right, and, um, you know, when I, when I got it, I was like, okay, you know, I think this could be, you know, in that 9-4 variety, 9-4 gray. Now, it does have a little bit of a staple, uh, you know, the cover was, uh, when, when these uh, square bound books are glued on, the uh, staples kind of popping through the cover a little bit, although I've seen some higher grades that that didn't seem to have an effect because that's how it is usually manufactured. So I'm hoping for a 9-4, maybe a 9-6. Let's see what I got. Holy shit. Nine, eight white pages. Nine, eight. Dude, I just, I just hit the top of census. I just hit the top of census for this book. Folks, there are only, I believe, 10 to 12 copies or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it is, but there are only a handful of copies of this book at the 9-8 level. I have no idea what this was sell for. This hasn't sold in a while. Uh, nine fours were in the, you know, $500, $600 range. Holy crap. Wow. There you have it, folks. 9-8, Marvel Feature 1. White Pages. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at this book. Nice. Holy moly. A 9-8 of this has not sold in a while. So uh, I don't know what the true fair market value of it would be today. I, I, I actually don't know. Dude, that is awesome. I mean, it is a nice book. It is, it is definitely a nice book. I wasn't sure what this like little staple situation was going to do, uh, how they would usually grade it. Um, I, I did see high grades that had it on it, so maybe they can uh, think of it as a, uh, a manufacturing error. So I don't know, but man, I'm excited about that. That is really, really awesome. Okay, here we go. Next up, Dane Whitman, The Black Knight, Boys and Girls, Avengers number 48, first appearance of The Black Knight. You guys know this book. Now, this is a book that has fallen off tremendously falling off tremendously, but uh, we still have to hope. We still have to hope that uh, Kit Harrington is going to make his debut in the MCU at some point. And, uh, you know, he, he, he'll he uh, bring this character to the promised land. Now, this is also a book that I got at a comic show. Uh, it, again, was a very, very nice grade. Did have one little spine tick right here. So, uh, you know, it's not a perfect book, but uh, again, when I got this, I was like, okay, like, you know, this looks really, really nice. Like, I think that this could be a 9-4. So that's my hope. Got a little spine tick right there. Doesn't seem like the pressing got it the full crinkle out of it, but that's okay. Anyways, Avengers 48, hoping for a 9-4. Let us see what I got. Oh, 9-6 white pages. Not bad. Not bad. 9-6 white pages. Very, very happy with that one. Very, very happy with this. Um, I do think right now, 9.6 white pages, probably selling again at that $2,200 range or so. Uh, so definitely uh, excited to have gotten this type of grade. Very interesting with this book, you know, very interesting because a, a lot of those uh, sales I did notice are coming from the auction variety, not necessarily the buy it now variety. So uh, it, it's, it's an interesting thing, you know, when you think about like demand for those types of books, obviously everyone had been selling their Avengers uh, 48s and stuff. At, at one point, I think at a 9.6, that book was like a $10,000 book or something crazy like that. So uh, uh, it, is, it is definitely seen much, much better days. Whew. All right, I'm really excited about this one. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, X-Men number 60. Great Neil Adams cover. First appearance of Sauron. You know me, I like the lizard, I like dinosaurs. Sauron, one of my favorite X-Men villains. This is a book I got on an LCS. Uh, really, really clean copy. Super clean copy. Um, I didn't want to get ahead of myself, but I was like, this has a chance. This has a chance. You know what I mean? So I, I, I went in thinking, okay, you know, 9-4, maybe 9-6, you know, maybe 
you know that that was that was my real feeling but it, there was a little a tiny tiny little thing and i was hoping that the graders uh wouldn't necessarily see this thing right here but let us see what i got come on shorts oh. can't be mad at that can't be mad at x-men 60 in a 9.6 with white pages. First appearance of Sauron. A little bit down here, and I bet that's what it is. I gotta look at the grader's notes. I mean, there, there was a little something right there. Maybe you can continually press it, press it, press it. Ever so faint, ever so faint um, little uh, 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 co color break thing. You know you know when the color breaks are like not quite color breaks? Like, like it's like a little bit of an eye trick. I bet that's what it is. That was the only thing that I could spot on it, and I'll have to check the grader's notes to see what I got. All right, next up here, oh, X-Men number 39. The uh, first appearance of the new X-Men costumes, and in my opinion, an underrated book. Definitely an underrated book. Uh, this was another solid copy. I picked this one up uh, at a comic show, and um, it, it, was just a, it was just a solid copy. Like, I, I don't necessarily think this is a high grade, uh, but, you know, these all-black covers are always really, really tough. And I felt like, you know, with, with what I got it for, I still had enough room to get it slabbed and, and see what I got. I mean, I was kind of hoping that maybe this could hit a 9-0, um, but I, I think that that would be lucky if I got a 9-0. So let me, let me, you know, hope hedge a little bit and get an 8-5 here. So here we go. X-Men 39. Come on. Okay, 80, 80 white pages. Still a great book. Very, very cool. Very underrated. Tough with these all black covers. Um, you know, I guess this is okay. Yeah, I mean, a little bit down there, a couple spine ticks and stuff. You know, so just, just not quite, not quite there. Although I feel like, you know, if my Silver Surfer one was an eight five, this kind of feels like it could have also got the eight five treatment. I don't know. I'm not CGC. So I can't, I can't be mad. But again, I'm still doing okay with that one. I think that that one, what does that retail for right now? I don't know. A few hundred bucks, maybe 300 bucks, somewhere in that window. It's hard with those ones. You know, they, they kind of go at auction and you can never really tell. All right, next up here, Submariner number one. First solo series for Submariner of the Silver Age. Yeah, first solo so Silver Age Submariner. Uh, big premiere issue. Now this one, also another really, really clean copy. Uh, a couple spine ticks I, I noticed on this one. We got one there, one there. Uh, very, very small, small spine ticks. But other than that, you know, really, really nice colors. Presents really, really well with this one. Again, uh, I was of the opinion that uh, this had, uh, for sure, you know, of that 9-4 chance when I when I picked it up. So uh, come on, let's get that 9-4. 9-6. All right. 9-6 white pages. We're doing really well right here. Got a couple nine sixes of these, uh, you know, kind of a later on-ish Silver Age books. Uh, current prices for this one, I think similar to some of the other ones in that like $2,200 level, which is actually really funny. This is one of those books that has in a way sort of been overcorrecting or maybe it's not been overcorrecting and got inflated in 2018 and 2019. You know, a lot of these Fox movie properties, X-Men books, Fantastic Four books, Submariner got really inflated when Disney had the acquisition of Fox because everybody started speculating way back when. And uh, now where these books are selling today, like the Submariner keys, they're actually selling for less than what some of those keys were selling for in 2019 and 2018, which is really, really surprising. So, you know, you have to wonder, are they undervalued now or were they always overvalued then? But either way, I think current prices for the 9.6 white is around that 2200 dollar range or so. Uh, so definitely really, really happy about that one there. All right. I know what this last one is because this is the last book and I know what I sent into CGC. Silver Surfer number 14. One of my favorite Silver Surfer covers. The uh, classic John Buscema cover. First meeting of Spider-Man and Silver Surfer. And uh, a, a really, really great book. You know, not too many uh, John Buscema Spider-Man depictions out there. Uh, this is this is definitely one of the few ones, and uh, I, I think kind of an underrated book. I mean, all black cover, first meeting of these two characters, uh, and and just a beautiful John Buscema stuff. Love the moon and, and everything like that. Now I gotta say, this is another one, guys. That I didn't want to jinx myself when I looked at it. I was like, this was really nice. It was definitely really, really, really nice. And, uh, you know, we've been doing pretty well over here. So I'm going to say it. I mean, 
I, I wanted to uh, temper my expectations with 9-4, uh, but I would say this, that uh, this is definitely deserving of a 9-6. I'm not gonna jinx it. it. Says, here we go. Rip the Band-Aid. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. 9-8, 9-8, white pages. Holy shit. Another book, guys. Another book that is, <clears throat> I think that there are only 10 nine eights on the census. I looked this up ahead of time because I was, I, I, w I was hoping. Nine eights, uh, last nine eights sold for $9,000. $9,000. Uh, but that was in the, uh, you know, comic uh, boom time, you know, when the market was a little bit hotter. And uh, I do also know that on Comic Link, because I was paying attention, uh, there was a 9.8 that sold for $8,000. And I got to say, my book looks my book looks amazing. I mean, like, you know, again, perfect wrap. None of that, like, white wrap coming over. You know, perfect black edge right there. 9.8 white pages. The perfect book for this one. Nine six is selling in that twenty four hundred to twenty six hundred dollar range. This is a tough book. This is a super tough book. I hit the top of census twice. Holy crap, guys! Wait, let's 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 take a look at this. Let's take a screenshot here together. My freaking god! Look at that! Look at that, guys! Someone take a photo. Nine eights, tops of census. I mean, that would have been amazing to get like a 9.8 sub E1 or something like that, but uh, wasn't meant to be. Woo! Wow. Okay. Okay. That's pretty crazy. That is pretty, pretty crazy. I, I, don't, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I am super, super excited about this right here. Uh, I think we did uh, pretty well on our unboxing here today. Well, um, that's all I got for this video. That was me doing my CGC unboxing. Just uh, chilling at the top of census now. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna sell some of these books. I probably, I'm probably gonna sell some of these books. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am uh, really, really uh, thrilled about my results. So uh, I think I'm gonna end the video there. Again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one.